Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Mystifying Guitar Series with Wilma Denge. Previously, we learned about the backwards with the root notes on this low E string here. And I promised you that the next lesson, I'm going to teach you the backwards where the root note is found on the G string. Our G string. Our third string. On to it. We use the shape of a four. The shape of a four. Remember, when you had a G here as our one, we had a C here as our four. Now, in the key of C, C is our one here. This is the shape of a C. Then we go to a two. A two, you skip one fret, then you hold the shape of an A minor. As if you're holding a six, but now this is a two. The shape of an A minor with your second string on fret number second string, fret number six, string number two, third string, third finger, string number four, fret number seven, and fourth string, fourth finger, string number three, fret number seven. That's a two. Then for a three, the same thing we did to the two, but now you skip one fret, you go to the, your bearing finger is the, the seventh fret. That's a three, all the way to the ninth fret, the shape of a A minor. Third, that's what that chord. So we have one, two, three, then a four is an F. You already know an F. An F is located on this lowest string. So that back chord, F. There, that's a four. Then you go to a five, a G. You already know about it. Then for six, which is an A minor, we are going to use the shape of an E minor, where our bearing finger bars the fifth fret, and you hold the shape of an E minor using our third and fourth fingers respectively where our third finger holds the string number five and our fourth finger holds string number four on fret number seven that's a six and all together we have one one hope you can see it clear 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 whatever one two Three, four, five, six. I have used the key of C here. So the, it's, semi, it's the same all over the neck of the guitar from chord B, from key B, key B. Our B is our one, our four will be an E. Then our five, our six, and that's it. And we have keys ranging from B to C, D, nah, D, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. Yeah. Then we get we get back to the other backwards where our root note is located on the low E string. So once again, we have our six, in the key of C, our six, which is an A minor. Five, four, one, two, three. So that's very easy. Now that you you had uh, already learned how to hold a four and uh, and a six with a shape of an A minor. This should be very easy to understand. One, two, A minor, three. It's so the shape of an A minor again. We just have to skip a fret. One, four, five, six. And that's it about the backwards where the root note is located on the G string. 
Now this is what we will use when you come to playing rhythms and solos. We are going to use the root, we are going to have shapes and arpeggios where our root note is located on these low, low uh, on these high strings, the E, the B, and the G. We'll come to that. So have a nice time. Thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.